Hallå! Hej, buddies. Hello. Hello. How is Hi. How is everybody doing? I'm doing. You're doing. How is your heart, your soul, and your body? Gouda cheese so far. <laughs> Gouda cheese. What was my my sweet cheese comeback last week? I forget it. You said Gouda cheese, and I said, oh yeah. <laughs> I remember Gruyert. Gruyert is a type. Oh, I'm trying to pronounce that type of cheese and I can't do it right now. It's been a long day. Look, do you like my new office space for, for my background? What do you think? Zen? Nearly. Do you know what that says right there? Mm -hmm. All nope. bodies are good bodies, right? All bodies are good bodies. Mm -hmm. Inspiring. L, hi. Oh. How are you doing? How was your week? Tell us everything. Well, on to Wednesday. Wednesday, it was, um, it was PJ Day slash Wear Comfy Clothes Day. Mm hmm And today it was Jersey Day slash wear like like your sport. Oh cool. What do you still have it on? Let us can we see it? What you got? Oh, is that your dance? Sporty. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, it's got your name right on the side. I love it. Um, well that's fun. We had pajama day here, so I'm in cozies too. Oh, lucky. It's not jam on day. So listen, Hyla, do you have to wear a mask all day? I feel like I've asked you this before, but I forget. Do you have to wear it all day? Yes, but we get breaks. We get breaks. Yeah. Recess. So at the person of the day, we do circle in the gym. So we stay so, so distanced. So we take off our mask. Okay. Then we have recess, and then the other recess, and then the other stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because I think, in I think as far as I understand, in New Brunswick, they just made some kind of announcement. I think we it's going to be mandatory that we we wear masks like Nova Scotia now. Elle, mm -hmm. I think that's right, eh? Yeah, my mom just told me like every single public store is mandatory. Mm -hmm. What about schools? Do do we know yet if it's schools? I think it's going to stay the same because our class is a bubble. Right. And I don't change my class. Okay. I do have two different teachers, though. I have an English teacher and a French teacher. Right. Are you taking French, Hyla? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, let's get this party started. We are going to start with a little read aloud. It's going to be a bit shorter today. It's from one of my favorite poetry books called Roald Dahl's Dirty Beasts. And it's kind of about animals who take over humans in some way. It's kind of gnarly, but it's good. It's a bit darker than our story from last week. Okay, so one of them, <laughs> they're all so good. Oh man, where will I? Okay, so there, I'm gonna give you an option. This one is called The Pig. This one is the darker of the more twisted. This one is called, oh, the anteater's really good too, but it's long. Um, the porcupine is also another favorite. Just based on the drawings, do you wanna go the porcupine or the pig? How dark is this pig? Well, you'll have to find out. Al, what's your vote? But I don't want to pig. Pig? You want to find out? Okay, well, we're doing pretty good for time, so we'll see if we have maybe time for both. I, I'm sorry, but I can only read this in a British accent. It's, it, I have to do it. I would do it if I were you. 
Okay, thank you for your support. And then we're gonna do our little listening activity after. So if you wanna get your chips ready for, um, for when we do our listening, it can be anything. Do you have anything like beans or pennies or counters? Yep, that's perfect. Awesome sauce. Just have those ready to rock, okay? Okay, perfect. What's that? 10? Mm, at least 10. Let's go, yeah, 10. 10 is probably safe. Let's count out 10. I'm going to mute you guys because it's loud while you're counting, but I'll begin, okay? You ready? And I'll unmute you when you're done. So you can count your chips away. It's not going to interrupt anything. In England, there once lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody, it was plain. That piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an airplane fly. He knew how engines worked and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life was really all about. What was the reason of his birth? Why was he placed upon this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found. Till suddenly, one wondrous night, all in a flash, he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, by gum, I've got the answer. So he's looking for the meaning of his life, you guys. This is deep stuff for a pig to be thinking about. He figures it out. They want my bacon slice by slice to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender, juicy chops to put in the, all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast. Oh, and that's the part that'll cost the most. They want my sausage and strings. They even want my chitterlings. The butcher shop, the carving knife, that is the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning, Next morning, in comes Farmer Bland, a pail of pig squeal in his hand, and Piggy with a mighty roar. Are you ready for the twisted part? Bashes the farmer to the floor. Now comes the rather grisly bit. Let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Bland. <laughs> He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet, because there was so much to eat. And when he'd finished, Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly, he scratched his brainy head, and with a little smile, he said, I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might have me for his lunch. And so, because I feared the worst, I thought I better eat him first. Wah! <laughs> Elle, you look very unhappy or shocked. Okay, you may unmute yourselves now. What'd you think of that one? I loved it. Unexpected, but you know what? We eat animals every day. Sometimes a pig's got to get what's coming to them. You know what I mean? Never that, trust a pig farmer. Never trust a pig farmer. Well, he didn't, and he ate him. It's a good thing that they didn't show the picture for every sentence. Truth. We had to keep that in our imagination. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to push some chips for your ear warm up? I think. Wait. I'm hungry. Me too. All I ever want is chips. All day, every day. But you know what I eat all the time? Vegetables. 
vegetables. I love vegetables too, but I'm doing really good with like not having any sugar, any bad stuff. And sometimes I just flip out and eat a whole bag of chips. But... My two favorite foods are watermelon and salad. Ooh, what kind of salad? Like, like lettuce, tomato, cucumber, feta cheese, mm -hmm. and this sauce that my mom made. Dang, girl, that's what I want right now. And chips. Okay. <laughs> this might sound crazy, but I don't like watermelon. Do you like the new song on the radio all the time that goes, watermelon sugar, hi, watermelon. Oh my gosh, my kids also don't like it. And then I sing it to drive them crazy. It's my favorite. Not like it. <laughs> on all the time. Okay, are you warm? You have to warm up your ears. Are you ready? They want my bacon slice by slice. Wait, so we're supposed to... Push a chip for every word. They want my bacon slice for slice. L, hang tight. My bacon slice So it's... Okay, wait. Hold up your fingers for how many words three two one yes hyla it is seven so l let's do this together they want my bacon they want my bacon they want my bacon slice by oh i'm wrong slice by slice oh i thought it was slice per slice even if it was sliced per or sliced by, it's the same amount of words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. Wait, they want my bacon slice by slice. It is seven. How did, what did you have? Cause you, you said it right. I Al. said, I want my bacon slice by slice. Hyla, do you have headphones? Six. They want. My no, bacon no. slice by slice. I have six now. I'll try. My bacon slice by slice. by slice. All right. Next one. Seven. Seven. All right. Um. His giant brain went round and round. His giant brain went round and round. His giant brain. Okay. okay. All right, reveal how many? Wait. Okay, and reveal. Yes, bing, 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 bing. All right, fine, I'm making it harder. Hmm. Uh, didn't we have different numbers? No, Ooh. you guys both had seven. I thought it was like that. Yeah, she had seven. And you had seven, right? I had eight. Eight? I missed, maybe because you have your little hand thingies up. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it. Push a chip for every word. His, his, what was it? Brain. His giant brain. His, his giant brain went round and round. Yeah, I have seven now. Seven? Okay, perfect. Next one. Are you ready? He yelled, by gum, I've got the answer. I'm going to say it one more time, so listen closely, and I'm not saying it again. He yelled, by gum, I've got the answer. Watermelon sugar. Uh, what does that even mean? Watermelon and sugar. 
and then high. Watermelon. Uh, I'm surprised you don't like watermelon, Hyla. Okay, reveal how many words do you have? Brrr, how many? Yes, both of you are correct. There are eight, and that was the hardest one. Uh, okay, next we are going to do. I've got. Bah, 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 bah. I'm going to share my screen. Um, what are the apples and onions from your week? So good, one good thing, one kind of wonky thing. Oh, I thought you meant you ate apples and onions. Well, do you eat apples and onions? Hey, apples and apple picking. Nice. Share screen. Um, okay, I have one. What is it? The, does onion mean bad? Yeah, onion is just kind of like not just the moment of the week. So when I found out that we aren't allowed to go to Monk, well, we're not going to go to Moncton. Boo! How come? Uh, I'm sad. That would have been cool to see ya. But... Oh, the old folks home. Oh, yeah, right. That makes sense. Global pandemic. Totally. Right. But then the apple was, um, I'm hanging out with my best friends and I may be having a sleepover. Ooh. That's really fun. What do you guys do on sleepovers? What? What do you guys do on sleepovers? Well, there's this game on our iPads that we all love to play. Yes. So we usually do that for like two hours. <laughs> What's the game? It's called Adopt Me. Adopt Me? Do you want to get adopted? <laughs> but it's on a game called Roblox. Oh, fun. Uh, oh, I know. This is a joke. All right. I'm going to take these ones away and we're going to. Hi. Tell us. My apple was. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, oh. Something good from your week. Your favorite thing. Oh, oh no, that wasn't this week. <laughs> oh, my friend, uh, Wolfgang. Uh, he's coming over. His real name is Wolfgang? Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Fun. That's very good. Uh, yeah. Onion? What was your onion? Any onion? My brother. No. I <laughs> 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 just. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, okay, you have five seconds. I don't know. All right. Um, well, what's my apple? Mm, 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 mm. I've had. I love coming to work every day. That's my apple. I. That's cool. Um, and onion is. Yeah, maybe COVID. Being even more, being being twenty cases. I know my onion. What is it? I'm hungry. Ah, oh, I know, me too. But you know what? How lucky are we that we can't even really think of very bad things in our lives? Those are pretty great onions to have. Okay, so you guys had lots of homework this week. Did you review your CH and SH passages? Okay. Like I have, do you want to see my do you wanna see my picture? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> So good. Um, <laughs> does anyone want to be brave and read some for me? Yes? All right, Al, let's hear it, girl. So I did all the pages you sent home. Let us hear your favorite one. My favorite one? Your one you feel very confident about. Ah. 
my dog peed in my bed last night. That's my onion. Oh. That is not what I expected when I crawled into bed. Now, go for it, girl. And on every page, I did the bereaves and underlined every CH and SH. Excellent. What's a bereave? Uh, I a smiley face with no, it's a smiley face with no eyes that goes over a short syllable sound. A short, short vowel. vowel. Yes, girl. Yes. Okay. What is a closed syllable? It's a short vowel that's in between two consonants. Yes, or it's closed in by a consonant. It doesn't have to have one in front of it. it always has to have one that closes it in. Okay. okay. It's even the word at. For example, mm -hmm. at is a closed syllable because it's got a consonant closing it in, or it, or mm, on. Yes, Hyla. I have two tings. Two tings. What is your? What are your two tings? Could I read some of shell? Yes, absolutely. Yes. This is my oh, I love. <laughs> He's a sleeping. <laughs> Monkey, he's a skinny guy like, run, monkey, run. Draw a picture of Shell and her rash. Oh, gosh. Bad rash. Oh, yeah. Man. Rash. Okay, Elle, which one are you going to read for us? Oh, bad rash. Nice. All right, I'm ready for you. Shell had fish and chips on a ship. Shell was not well. Shell got a red rash on the leg and chin. Mom said, it's a bad, it's, a, it is, it. So spell it for me. It, it sounds like it is. It's T-H-I-S and then is. This is. Okay, this is a bad rash. Mom got Shell a red pill. Shell did rest in bed. Then Shell got up. The rash was not bad. The rash was not on the leg and chin. Mom said that rash was bad, but the red pill got it well, said Shell. Shell was glad the rash was not bad. Shell had fun on the ship. Doo -doo! Dude, that was awesome. I would just shower you with candy if you were here in person. So let me guess, it did not sound like that a week ago. So you can, I can really tell that you practice. Hyla. Can I read? Yes. Um, L. what do you have to say, buddy? Um, is le, is the E in leg a short vowel sound? Leg, leg, yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Good question. I'm very proud of you, L. Golf claps for L, everybody. Okay, Hyla, take it away, sister. Shell, I mean, uh, Shell had fish and chips on the ship. Shell was not well. Shell got a red rash on the leg and chin. Mom, mom said, this is a bad I love it. Mom got Shell a red pill. Shell did rest in bed. When Shell got up, the rash was not bad. Shell, Shell's, the rash is not the rash is not bad. Is not bad. 
uh, I mean, the, the rash is not on the chin or leg and leg, said mom. That, uh, oh, what? Um, well, uh, where was I? Not I'm sure. To... Try, try, try getting a yeah. word and spelling it. I'm going to just go back to. Okay. That's perfect. That's what good readers um, do. The, ra the rash is not on the leg and chin, mom said. That rash, that rash was bad, but the red pill got it well, said Shell. Dude! <laughs> You was was uh glad the rash was not bad. Shell had fun on the ship, lads. Yeah. Oh, bravo! Yes. Throw a picture of Shell and her rash. <laughs> Super good. Golf claps for high love. So good. And in there with a Scottish accent. Are we going Scottish on that one? Hardcore Scottish accent. That is impressive. You know I love a good accent. I'd like to thank my mother, my father, my brother who brought me here today. I'm, I'm muting you in two seconds. All right. I'm sharing my screen with you. Amazing. So you had lots. Did you find the activities in Google Classroom overwhelming or good? Yes? It wasn't too much? No? Okay. I did not. I don't know if I saw those. Well, you're, you're, somebody obviously oh, um, printed it Those off. ones? Yep. No, I didn't see those. Let's take a quick look into Google Classroom. You can see my screen, right? Everybody? Say a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to look. Quickly here. Her. Right. Her. Her. I've got where are you? Highlight and now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was we had um you had your two passages, you oh. had your smaller, shorter passages. We reviewed what was a bum bum bum. What's a close syllable? Mirrors on. Mirrors on. Ends in a consonant. Ends in a ends in a consonant. And the vowel is short. Short. All right, good. Um, a cool. So this. So we did die. Oh, did you watch any of the crazy videos that I had put in about essay? I was like. That one. This is weird. Isn't it so weird? I thought me. It's super weird. And then a breathe is what? Uh, a breathe is a short vowel sound. A uh, uh, smiling face with no eyes that you put over a short vowel sound. Correct. Um, so this week we are going to look at a few different things. We are going to look at open syllables, okay? So. Um, and I will give you your passages and all that good stuff. So let's get out of Google Classroom. Zoom. All right, consonant digraph TH. Um, we did our ear warm up. How many syllables are in the word thunder? What? How many syllables in the word thunder? Thunder? Mm -hmm. Two. What yeah. Thunder. Oh, I thought you said thunder. Thunder. No. Now, is a tricky one because it can sound like, but it's not. So I want you to go with me right now. I mean, yep, that's the sound you have to make. Like, okay. So, how many syllables in the word thinking? Thinking. Two. So we're going to do this fast. Okay, Hyla, so I need you to pay attention. 
Um, symbol. Symbol. Word. Yes, two. Um, thump. Yep. Um, bath. <laughs> yes, one, bath. Every syllable, Mir's on. Mir's on. Every syllable. Every syllable. Every syllable. Can only have. Can only have. One talking vowel. One talking vowel. Yes, Mirza. So what I mean by that is say if you had the word bathing, okay? Bathing. Where would I split this word bathing? Bathe. Bathe and aim. All right, okay. So the A talks and the I talks. So it has to be two, symbol, two syllables, okay? We're gonna get really, really good at syllable work. You're, and it's gonna help you so much, okay. Um, how many sounds in the word thunder? Thunder. No, how many sounds? We're, we've switched oh. the sounds. So let's do it together. A, n, d, er. How many? Five. Okay, how many sounds in the word think? Four. Do it with me. E n k. Think. Oh. Okay. Okay. One more. Thump. Thump. Put it on your hand. Wait. So thump. Thump. No, just the word thump. Okay, show me, show me what the sounds would be, L. Put them, say it out loud. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mmm. P. Thump. Right? Because it's not thup. The, the bunny didn't thup his paw on the ground. He thumped. He will thump his paw on the ground, okay? Um, we're not going to do rhyming words because you guys can do rhyming words right now. Okay, if I had the word... Thump, change the th to ch. What would be the new word? Chump, wait, what? Yes, chump. Okay, so if I have the word thump and I change the th to ch, what's the new word? So you have the word chump? You have the word chump now because you took out away the th and you put in ch. Okay, new one. Um, bath, drop the th, put in sh. What's your new word? Chath. Bath, th, take out the th and put in sh. Chath. Nope. Bath. Batch. Bath. Bash. 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 Yes, very good. Okay, um, we're not gonna do our sound drill. Actually, we'll do our sound drill together, but we're gonna do it fast. You ready to do it with me? And we're, ah, gonna, we're saying the sound. Ah, ah, d, d, g, 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 Show me the ah sound. Show me the ah sound or ah movement. Show me the ah movement. Good. Show me. Oh, wait, we're not there yet. What's this one? Quick. 
to fix that in the sky three times. Y says yeah. Y says yeah. Yeah. Y says yeah. Yeah. Y says yeah. Y says yeah. Y says yeah. Okay. Next one. Next one. Next one. We have a new rule. Mirrors on. Mirrors on. Open syllables. Open syllables. Open syllables. Obviously, we need to sing Anne of Green Gables right now. Are you ready? Open the window. Open the window. Clear out the cobwebs. Clear out the cobwebs. <laughs> You're really bringing it home. <laughs> okay, an open syllable. An open syllable. Has a long vowel sound. Has a long vowel sound. And is not closed. Is not, and is not closed. In at the end. And at the end. By any letters. By any letters. She's wide open, baby. She's wide open, baby. Here's off. Yes. L. Is an open syllable sound? One like with it at the beginning instead of the end. Yeah, it always would be. Well, it's not necessarily always going to be at the beginning of a word, but most often, an open syllable is at the beginning of a word. So in in this example, there's no consonant closing this vowel in. Use the long vowel sound. When a syllable ends with a vowel, that syllable is open, so the vowel can say its name. Name, name, name. Okay, so what are you noticing with these words? Yes, Hyla. Um, so. I forget. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, uh, two things. Yes. Is there a time difference? Between here and Brunswick? Uh-huh. Nope. Okay. And uh We gotta move uh, on. We have lots to accomplish, bud. What's the weather like there? It is rainy and it's so windy it's insane. Like oh. so windy. Same here. It's wild. Like my poor dog was not happy outside today. But you know what? I don't care because she peed in my bed yesterday, so we are not friends today. Yes, L. Are you asking what do you see with these words? Yeah, what are you noticing? And okay. guess what? I didn't forget to make sure I color coded all of them purple this week because I was like, this will bug L if I don't put them all purple, correct? <laughs> correct. <laughs> all right, tell me. Uh, what are you seeing? Well, the three top ones, I haven't checked them. They're like the ones in purple aren't short vowels. They aren't short vowels. What are they? Long vowels? They're long vowels. Absolutely. Um, there's a, a marking for long vowels that we're going to be introduced to today. And that is called a macron. Can you say macron? Macaron. So think of like a long, straight piece, I guess, of macaroni. So macaron, okay? So Ma I, macaroni. Where is my, I thought I had a little poster here. 
in these days? Um, it what basically is, I don't have my grid markers in here. Wait one second. I thought I had a good Macron poster, but I'll put it in Google Drive. So it's a very, a very simple line, just like that. So remember I showed you last week, if I close that in to make it a closed syllable, all of a sudden that vowel goes short. What's this word? Bet. Once I take the T away, what happens? L. Um, I have two things. It's B. Mm -hmm. And my second one is I can't see the like the writing on there. Oh, is it too late? I can see it now, but okay. it's it's just because I'm sharing too many screens probably. But you can see it up here in the corner in the word B right here, right? Mm -hmm. oh, gosh. No, stop. Go back. So you were right, L, you noticed exactly. So what are these words? Let's do them. B. Me. No. no. Go. Hi. La. Look, this is a perfect example. Um, I'm going to go end show and I'm going to just type right in here. Watch this, Hyla. If I were to type that in, check it out. Where would I split this word? It's two syllables. Hi, La. Where am I splitting the word, hi, the name Hyla? Hi. In between the. L, tell me. I and the law. Between the I and the L. Does that yes. prove our theory about open syllables? <laughs> totally. Okay, so hi, la. Um, no, buddy. There we go. Where would I split this word? Yes. Uh, in between the O and the B. Correct. And then check this out. No, bud. E. Where am I going to split the next one? Um, in between the D and the Y. Yes. Now, what kind of syllable type would this be? No, bod, E. What kind of syllable type is this? Open. It is a closed syllable. Because why? Tell me why that's a closed syllable, Hyla. Um, it's a closed syllable because of the, the buddy and the no. I mean, the, uh, because of the, but the B is blocking the A, the no. O. The O, okay. Uh, L, what do you have to say? Uh, the O is in between the B and the D. Correct, but the more important thing when it comes to a closed syllable is that D right there, this guy right here. Oh, come on now. Now, this D is blocking in the O. He's the, he's the bodyguard, okay? It doesn't matter as much that there's a consonant here. It's like this guy's like, I'm coming in, I'm making you a short vowel. All right, good. Okay, so we have, um, our open syllables. We've got this figured out, yes? I'm gonna go back to our slideshow. Play from current slide. Okay, next thing, blending drill. Um, let's do this, you ready? Yes, Hyla. Uh, are we gonna use the chips anymore or should I put them away? You can put them away, but you don't need to do that right now because I want you to focus on the screen, not your chips. And I know you really want to organize them very badly. I know your style, but I only have you for like 15 more minutes, okay? Yeah, good thinking. All right, let's do this. Now blend it. Chiff. Chiff. Very good. Check. 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 
That's a really strange one, isn't it? Oops. What's this one? Hutch. Very good. What's this one? Josh. This one I'm going to change because we are doing TH. So let's do TH. Whoops. TH. Eh. Okay, try that. What would that say? Um, let's try. I'm going to try blend on the end. Um, ooh, I'm going to try a hard one. Uh, ooh. NG together says ng. You ready? Try it, L. I love. Zip it. Thing. What does Shorty say? Thang. 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 Good. I'm going to change this one to, and I'm going to change this to a different blend. All right, try this one. Graph? Graph. I fat on the graph. Graph. <laughs> I just fat right on the graph. I fell on the graph, mama. Slideshow. Oh, doesn't matter. All right, good. Um, next one. So, consonant digraph th. Consonant mirrors on. Mirrors on. Consonants. Consonants. Are two letters. Are two letters. That come together. That come together. That make one. That make one. Sound. Sound. Beauty. All right, here we go. What does sound does TH make? Like as in? Sound. Good. Or as in? No. No. Teeth. Teeth. Good. All right, what are these words? Thin. 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 Bath. What's this one? Thump. Thump. Good. And thunder. Thunder. Good. All right. So we've come to the end of our slideshow, but we certainly aren't done with each other. Yes. Hi, La. Do you listen to the reading stuff that we do on Wise Kids? Yes, typically I do. I haven't had the chance to listen to yours yet this week, but did you record? Did you both of you do your recordings in Raz? I, I, I did all of these, but I didn't get to do any of the readings. No problem. I'll leave that on there for you to do anytime this week. Yeah. And you guys, every week, it's like if you've got a lot on the go, this should not be stressful. This should mostly be fun. Sometimes you're not going to want to do it and you still should because this is like even in a week, right? You're like, I see how hard you guys worked this week. Oh my gosh. If I could just come through that screen and squeeze you and shower you with candies and stickers, I just would. I'm very proud of your work this week. This is um, your Macron poster. It is used when a vowel is. Okay, that's one poster I wanted to show you. Um, what else did I want to show you? Um, do you want to pick a new Raz story for this week? And we won't pick a new one for you, Al, but maybe we can pick one for Hyla. Yes, Hyla. Um, next week, I actually get start to get homework from a class, like school. Okay. okay. Yes, Al. Yeah. I have three things. One, I could probably try and do both books. Okay, I like your style. Two, I also have homework from school. Yes. And three, I also have dance basically every night. You dance and you dance for like two hours. So you're still willing to take on the challenge, buddy? Mm-hmm. All right, girl, I like it. And if you don't, 
Do not stress it. I will never be upset or angry. Okay. So never feel like, oh no, I'm going to let Rebecca down or anything like that. Okay. It's not, that's not my style. Am I still sharing the screen with you guys? Yep. Yes. Yep. I do, I do. Um, Hyla, how did that level feel for you last week for your reading? There was a lot of words. It was a lot of words. Okay. I'm going to maybe bump it down just because I don't want you to be frustrated. This should be like, it's, it's tricky, but you can do it. So let's make sure it feels good. You know, the stone soup one. Yes. Or the thought that's, I love that one. Stone soup. Let me look it up. Stone soup. I don't know which level it's on, but stone soup. Real fun. Stone soup. So, um, there's a few. Oh, there's a, it's at a few different levels. Lots of different levels. All right, let's go. Um, oh darn it! Come on now. All right, let's go here. All level books. Um, I will go. Let's take a look and see what the words kind of feel like. Ooh, blizzards, no, I'm not ready to go there yet. Right? Ooh, the Everglades. Oh, I've read that. I've read two of the books there. Right. I've read Healthy Me and I've read Family. Ooh, is that a fish? Let's just look at that. Gross. So that I think might be, well, might be okay. Whoa. That reminds, did you ever watch Finding Dory? Yeah. I love the movie Finding Dory. It's so cute. It's so scary though. <laughs> Find? Well, when I was smaller, I haven't watched it. I've but. watched it in the last year and I loved it. This is Jane Goodall, the woman who was like, who lived with the chimpanzees. Oh, I, I did editing about her. Like I had edited the story. Really? That's amazing. Would you like to read maybe something about Jane? She's so wonderful and she lived with the chimpanzees and she's still alive. And she's like their number one. They like, yeah, she became basically friends with chimps. Do you want to read this maybe? No? Kind of, kind of, but. No, I want to find something you want to read. We're cool. We can find, wait, there's lots of things. Um... It looks pretty cool though. It's cool, yeah. Being bilingual, animal skeletons, the amazing octopus, winter vacation, yeah. wild swans, we make <laughs> syrup. Um, uh, how do you say this guy's name? Tian Tian Shan Shan, the giant panda. Um, the story Ooh. of the Mayflower, the spelling bee. Oh. Oh, rocket boots. Do you want to see what rocket boots is all about? Paco's tacos. I love a good Ooh, truck. I do like tacos. We are, we've been talking about chips. Let's check it out. Paco's tacos tells the story of a young, oh, I like the artwork in it. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Paco's tacos tell the story of Paco, a young boy whose uncle owns a taco truck. Um, yeah. I, I kind of like it. You guys want this one? Yeah. All right, sweet. And that's going to make me want to go buy salsa and chips, my favorite snack of all time. Elle, there she is. Um, where are you, Hyla? Hyla, there you there's, are. It, there's three kids in my class. That's, um, it's Elliot, Ellie. Eli, and now L. Oh, L's, I feel like very elegant. Um, I have a very quick little activity for you. Um, we're gonna end off with, so we've got our Raz story for the week. I'm gonna upload your leveled reader to, did it help having the video of me reading it too so you could read it along? Yes. Yes, okay, I will record that. Um, record video. Noted. All right. I have some houses for you. Are you ready? Okay. It's going to go from open to close. What's this? Go. Go. 
got. Got. Right? So let's do it fast. Go got. Go got. Go got. Go back. Go back. Go. Bot. Got. Bot. Gob. 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 Now again. Go. Gob. 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 Oh, God. Oh, that she said. So. Sob. Sob. No. Not. I thought it was going to be knob. Knob. So. Soft. Soft. Good job, you guys. No. No. Nod. 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 Mm -hmm. We. Web. 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 Very good. All right. Um, so the next thing is we can either do two things. I can show you the decodable passage and record the video of me reading it, or we could read one last revolting rhyme. One last revolting rhyme. Okay. Do you want another like kind of dark and twisted one, or do you want this one is also very funny? Mm. The other one that's dark and twisted, which might be a good, no, I'm going to leave that one for next week because it's a good opener because it's longer and we only have three minutes. All right, this is the porcupine. You ready? Yes. Porcupine. Do we need to get our chips? No chips. We won't have time for chips. Thanks a lot for talking about chips again. Great. Now I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm super hungry. I didn't have that much food today. I'm even like thirsty and parched. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Each Saturday I show hooray for that's my pocket money day. Although it's clearly understood, I only get it when I'm good. This week, my parents had been told that I had been as good as gold. So after breakfast, 50p, my generous father gave to me. So 50p is 50 pence, which is like in England. My gener uh, like lightning down the road, I ran until I reached the sweet shop man and bought the chocolates of my dreams, a great big bag of raspberry creams. There is a secret place I know where I quite often like to go. Beyond the wood, behind some rocks, a super place for guzzling chocks, chocolates. When I arrived, I quickly found a comfy looking little mound, quite clean and round and earthy brown, just right, I thought, for sitting down. Here I will sit all morning long and eat until my chocks are gone. I sat, I screamed, I jumped a foot, would you believe that I had put that tender little rump of mine upon a giant porcupine? Can I mute you just because the chips are loud? I'm just gonna, uh -huh. mute. yeah, I'm gonna mute. there you go. Um, where, 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 where am I? Oh no. Oh, my backside seemed to catch on fire. A hundred red hot bits of wire, a hundred prickles sticking in and puncturing my precious skin. I ran home, I shouted, mom, behold the prickles in my bum. <laughs> it's my favorite line. <laughs> behold the prickles in my bum. My mom, who always keeps her head, <laughs> bent down to look and then she said, look, behold the prickles in my bum. I personally am not about to try and pull those prickles out. This requires, uh, I think a job like this requires the services of Mr. Myers. I shouted, no, not the dentist. Oh, mom, why don't, why don't you have to go? I begged her twice, I begged her thrice, but grown-ups never take advice. She said, a dentist's very strong. He pulls things out the whole day long. She drove me quickly into town, and then they turned me upside down upon the awful dentist chair while two strong nurses held me there. Uh. Yes. L. Huh. Oh no. The video is wonky. Mm. 
Oh, darn. Oh, it's there. Yay. It cut off and then it said it left and now you're still here. Okay. Gosh, thank goodness. I was just about to text your parents to say it cut me off. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Enter the dreaded Mr. Myers, waving a massive pair of pliers. This is, he cried with obvious glee, a new experience for me. Quite honestly, I can't pretend I've ever pulled things from this end. He started pulling once, one by one and yelling, oh my, what fun. He shouted, help, I shouted, ow. He said, it's nearly over now. For heaven's sakes, don't squirm about. Here goes, the last one's coming out. The dentist pulled, pulled and out it came and then I heard the man exclaim, let us now talk about the fees. That will be 50 guineas, please. My mother is a gusty bird and never one to mince a word. She cried, by gosh. That's jolly steep. He answered, no, it's very cheap. My dear woman, can't you see that if it hadn't been for me, this child would go another year with prickles sticking in her rear. So that was that, oh, what a day. And what a fuss, but by the way, I think I know why porcupines surround themselves with prickly spines. It is to stop some silly clown from squashing them by sitting down. Don't copy me, don't be a twit, be sure you look before you sit. I gotta go, somebody's at my door. I love you guys, I will see you next week. You guys are awesome. Keep the good work up for next week, okay? Yes, Al, I love it, beaver teeth. <laughs> you did it. Okay, bye.